Okay, now it is our turn to make our own poem. Poetry always scared me because I never thought that I could do it. But I promise you that every one of you is going to be able to write a poem. Do not be scared. Get excited because it's fun, especially when you're coming up with rhyming words. Sometimes you just sit there and you're thinking of all these silly rhymes and it's, I love, I love it. So what I did is I'm going to let you guys watch me try to come up with a poem right here, right now. I decided I'm going to do a poem about what I wish I had when I was on a deserted island. And that means like an island with nothing on it. So things I have to include and things you have to include when you write your poem in just a moment. What do you think? Repetition and rhyme. Okay. So I'm going to start my poem with a statement like, when I got stuck on an island... And I'm going to pick what I'm going to repeat over and over again. And I thought a little bit about this before I started the video. And I think I'm going to repeat what I wish I had was. And then I'm going to come up with things I wish I had. And I'm going to have to make them rhyme. Okay. And if you want to use this same kind of poem, you can. But you can be as creative as you want. So when I was stuck on the island... What I wish I had was, so I'm going to think, the first thing I want to think is, um, okay, you guys know how much I love Harry Potter, a Harry Potter book, and a, now I need something that rhymes with book, so a Harry Potter book and a, let's think, book, took, cook. I like cook because I do want to cook. So I wish I had, what I wish I had was a Harry Potter book and a fabulous cook. Okay, let me try to get my camera to focus really fast. There we go. Now let's do my next line. Now I'm going to add my repetition. So I'm going to repeat the line that I um, came up with. What I wish I had was, um, let's think about what else I wish I had. Um, if I was on an island, I would wish I had a pen. So let's say I wish I had a pencil and a pen. So now I need a word that rhymes with pen. So we can think zen, hen, uh, ten, men, um, in, okay. Um, I think I'm going to say a pencil and a pen. What about and a journal to write in? So what I wish I had was a pencil and a pen and a journal to write in. Pen in. Those are my rhyming words. Okay, now let's use my repeated line again. What I wish I had was, let's think, what else would I want? Hmm, I have my Harry Potter book, I have a cook, a pen, journal to write in. I just had an idea. How about a phone? Okay, because I love my phone. So we're going to say, I like adding adjectives. So we're going to say um, a charged phone. So I wish I ha had was a charged phone. Now we need a word that rhymes with phone. So phone, moan, postpone, scone. Ooh, I like scone because scones are delicious. Scones are like biscuits that you eat in the morning. They're really good. Um, so I'm going to say um, what I wish I had was a charged phone and a, let's pick an adjective for scone and a delicious scone, okay? Um, and what I wish I had was, I'm gonna do one last one. Um, let me think. So I am missing you guys a lot. So I'm gonna do something about all of you. So I'm gonna use the word you. How about, I have it, 
Are you ready? A picture or two of every one of you. I love it. And then I'll say at the end, and that is what I wish I had. So let's do it. Let's listen to my poem one more time. When I got stuck on an island, what I wish I had was a Harry Potter book and a fabulous cook. What I wish I had was a pencil and a pen and a journal to write in. What I wish I had was a charged phone and a delicious scone. And what I wish I had was a picture or two of every one of you. That's what I wish I had. See, that's not hard. You can do it, I promise you. So um, this is your activity. So stop and listen. This is what you need to do now. You are going to write a poem and you are going to include rhyming and repetition. We just went over it a lot, so you should have it down. When you finish writing your poem, either on paper or on the computer, you are going to underline repetition and circle rhyming words. So in my poem, I would underline what I wish I had was, because that's my what I repeat it, what I wish I had was, what I wish I had was. That's my repetition. I underline it. And then you circle the rhyming words. So a Harry Potter book and a fabulous cook. So I would circle book and cook. Let's go over it one more time. You're going to write your own poem. You are going to use rhyme and repetition. It just needs to be, um, it doesn't have to be super long. And you're going to underline repetition and circle the rhyming words okay I can't wait to see your poems and um, one last thing if you want to listen to a picture book that has rhyming I just posted on my YouTube channel um, a book called giraffes can't dance and it's a rhyming book it's perfect timing so if you want to listen to that one too um, you can okay have fun writing your poetry bye